Denver's wireless emergency alert system passes a major test, and many of you were part of it today. For the first time, the city and county of Denver decided to test the alert live with more than a million people. Jamie Leary was in one of the busiest places within the test area to see how smoothly things went today. Well, the test area was widespread across the county, but we wanted to find a spot with the biggest concentrated number of cell phones, so we headed straight to the airport. It was definitely loud. Like clockwork. Almost everyone with their phone on inside of the airport successfully became part of the test. Everybody immediately grabbed their phones and looked <laughs> like, oh my God. With most of our heads buried in our phones these days, the city and county of Denver may have found the best way to communicate in the event of an emergency. I got it on the Apple, Apple watch. watch. This group in town for a boys trip wasn't expecting the test, but loved the idea. You can be alerted anywhere, anywhere, whether you're at the airport or whether you're out touring. They are proponents of the technology and joked about how it would have worked when That's they were kids. Very Looking good. for a desk to duck and cover because that's where we grew up. There is a bright flash. Stop whatever you are doing and duck and cover under the table. When you heard that, you hid under a desk because the Russians were going to bomb you. <laughs> The alert worked even after travelers turned their phones on after being in airplane mode. That was quite weird, yes. That <laughs> caught me off guard for sure. Yeah, there it is. There we go. <laughs> there were more than a million people, all forced to pay attention. I think in a state of emergency, it's an excellent idea. Everybody's got their phones all the time. I, I think it should be nationwide. Now, while the alert was an overall success, there were people who didn't get it. The Office of Emergency Management said there are a number of reasons for this. The main ones have to do probably with the alert settings on your phone, or they advise just to check with your wireless carrier. Live in Denver, Jamie Larry covering Colorado First.